I'd like to take a moment now to share with you why blockchain is absolutely essential to our survival as a technological society. You are watching Blockchain Informer, brought to you by Blockchain Institute of Technology. To do that, I'd like to explain a bit about what makes blockchain work. Now, specifically, I want to focus on two key qualities of blockchain, and these are actually specific items that make blockchain possible. The first one is cryptography, and specifically asymmetric cryptography, which is also known as public key, private key cryptography. And what it allows you to do, asymmetric cryptography, is to be able to communicate securely between two parties without having the risk of having a third party hack and intercept the communication. The other one is the fact that blockchain can be distributed. So many times you may have heard that blockchains are distributed ledgers. So in this specific case, I'm going to focus on the role of blockchain as a distributed ledger. So when you combine the asymmetric cryptography and the fact that blockchains can be distributed, you're able to do a transfer of value securely over the internet from peer to peer without requiring the service of a third party. So for example, when you use Bitcoin, when you send Bitcoin over the internet, you can do a transfer of Bitcoin from one party to another securely over the internet without requiring the services of a bank, a credit card, or any other type of third party. And you do that in a decentralized manner and a distributed manner. What does that really mean? What that means is that I can send Bitcoin to anybody else on the planet um, without even knowing who that person is. All I need is that person's Bitcoin address and I can send Bitcoin securely over the internet and it will arrive securely and almost instantly. In that process, my transaction goes not only from me and the other party, but it also goes through thousands of nodes around the world that are processing the transaction. None of those nodes know who I am or who the other person is. And that's only done because by using asymmetric cryptography and using public keys and private keys, I am able to take an asset, which in my case would be a Bitcoin, and transferring it to someone else. The blockchain enables you to do that. Now, what blockchain really does very effectively is that it allows you to have effective identity management without even requiring to know who the different parties are. And this is going to be absolutely instrumental for us to be able to survive as a technological society. You may have heard about the Internet of Things. Now, very basically, the Internet of Things is the fact that right now, all of the trends in technology are that all devices will be connected to the Internet. What that means is not only will your television be connected to the Internet and your DVR and your toaster oven and your refrigerator, but also things such as your car. And if your car becomes a self-driving car, then you really have to make sure that your car knows who it's talking to when it's communicating with anything else that's giving it directions. And this is a big problem because as you have seen, the internet is suffering from a serious problem with identity management. There's constant phishing going on. There's a lot of uh, thefts of uh, medical records. There's a lot of people dealing with phishing where there's identity theft. And if you run into the risk of identity theft, when you're talking about something as important as a car, and you can have somebody take over control of a self-driving car, and then you have thousands of self-driving cars on the street, you better have a way to effectively control and manage those uh, in a way that's secure. And blockchain is what enables you to do that. If you want to learn more about blockchain and Bitcoin, I invite you to visit speakblockchain.com to see my Bitcoin and blockchain fundamentals course. My name is George Levy. See you next time. You are watching Blockchain Informer, brought to you by Blockchain Institute of Technology.